What can we learn no right now in 10 minutes that will be useful for the rest of our life? If you ever fall through the ice and are trapped underwater, aim for a dark spot. A hole in the ice will look dark. And if someone tries to abduct you fight like hell even if they have weapon. Your situation will not improve if they get you to a more private location. How to properly stretch your hands and forearms. Stretch arms straight out forward, point fingers up, then without moving arms ball a fist downward. Repeat as fast as possible. Taught indirectly from Bruce Lee. Is it supposed to click and pop like that? Bone hurting juice should only be taken once a day. I mean, their skills and not really wisdom but. Warning signs of a stroke. How to use a fire extinguisher. Rolling your clothes after folding gives you more room in a drawer suitcase. It's life changing. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. How to change a tire, check your oil and jump a car. Also changing headlights without using your fingers because the oils will damage the bulbs. How to start a campfire and put it out. The Heimlich maneuver. How to tie a knot more than one way. How to sew a basic stitch. The basics of emergency first aid. How to spot a riptide and how to escape. How to shut off and turn on a circuit breaker and where they're located. What to do in an earthquake, tornado, tsunami, and hurricane. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. I mean does anyone screw in screw without saying this? It's synonymous with clicking tongs together. Fun fact, not on propane tanks, they are threaded the other direction, at least in the USA. Edit, word. Edit 2, make sure you read both the smarty pants responses below as well. If you're somewhere quiet and your stomach is growling loudly don't tense up your tummy muscles, push your stomach out instead, and it will make the growl quieter. Wait is this really a thing people get self-conscious about? I never knew. I never knew I was self-conscious about it until last week when I woke up late and skipped breakfast and was sitting in my super quiet first period and my stomach was growling so loud that at least half the classroom could hear it. I honestly think I would have rather come to school with my clothes inside out and two different shoes on because I haven't been that embarrassed for absolutely no reason in a long time. Your friends love you. Brain is just mean sometimes. Along those lines. If you think everyone hates you, you need to sleep. If you think you hate everyone, you need to eat. If you have a cramp in your calf, stretch your toes back towards you and it'll help get rid of it. Mine are using so bad I have to stand up to force my foot straight, even from dead asleep. You need to drink more water, homie. It's easier to clean up cum with cold water than with hot water. Same goes for blood on clothes or other material. Meant to help out the ladies with this one, not someone plotting their next murder. For some, it cleans their natural cycle. For others, they won't ever see that bully again. Also using soap, preferably liquid, on hands or any body part covered in the material before washing helps to clean it easier and prevents gutters from choking. Can you elaborate on this? Semen is full of proteins. When they get hot, they denature and become sticky. It's like scrambling an egg. If you're home alone and choking, dial 911, grab a chair, and run out to the sidewalk. If you at least make it outside, others will see your suffering and will hopefully help you. If the 911 operator can, they'll track your phone down to your location. If you haven't passed out on the sidewalk, you can jump on the back of the chair and try to land on your abdomen and possibly get the object out of your airway. If anyone passing by is CPR certified, they can perform abdominal thrusts before you pass out and monitor you call 911 for advice if you pass out. Your washing machine has several filters that need to be cleaned regularly. UAC unit is the same, not only do the dust filters, but the inside underneath the plastic body has several spots dot that need cleaning. 
Ask your parents if there are any medical issues in your family, cancer, diabetes, heart problems, depression, etc. This could save your life, but it is not something commonly talked about. How to bypass a lock. It's actually very easy to get through most locked doors. Any kind of card, license, credit card, whatever, can open a regular latch. If the door opens away from you just slide it in between the door jam and door handle. The card will slide in between the mechanism and open it. If the door opens towards you it doesn't always work, but you can slide the card in and down at an angle to get behind the latch and open it that way. Most pad locks take less than 10 seconds to get into as well, but I don't know how to describe the technique with words. Grasp the idea that everyone you meet knows something you do not. A wise man and a fool have a long conversation. The fool has the most to learn, but the wise man learns the most. Sorry for not being gender neutral, 